Turn to a shocking report from NASA's own Inspector General could mean huge setbacks for NASA's efforts to get back to the moon. A critical test of the Orion crew capsule in 2022 after its most recent test flight showed extensive damage to the heat shield, which you know poses a significant safety risk for the crew. So this information was just released. The inspector general found more than 100 instances of unexpected damage on the capsule after the Artemis 1 mission launched and splashed down. The test flight, thank goodness, was unmanned. NASA is taking corrective actions too. Significant portions of the Orion capsule are fabricated and supported at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Well, these photos were included with the Inspector General's report. NASA engineers say this damage is much worse than they predicted. There were also issues with bolts, power distribution, the ground systems at Kennedy, and on splashdown, those parachutes you mentioned, Marco, they were expected to float for a while, but they sank quicker than expected, and they were lost. They couldn't be retrieved. Obviously, work to be done before the next flight. The NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says he believes the agency, though, can land people safely on the moon by 2026.